Hello again. Okay, back to uh, no, um, making wreaths. Uh, meron kasi akong order. I have an order ng isang sunflower wreath. I'm going to use 8 inch. So, it's going to be a smaller wreath. So, 8 inch uh, wreath frame. And um, ito yung 5.5 inch uh, mesh. So, we will see. Uh, what we'll be needing is mesh, rolls of mesh. We don't know yet ilan ang gagamitin na yellow. Maybe two or three. Uh, three rolls. So, and um, I'm sure it's less than a roll for the green ones. Kasi we're gonna use it for the leaves, yung outer ng uh, flower. And zip ties. Um... And also for the center. I am not sure pa ko yung gagawin ko. I might be using this leftover ribbon. But I'm just not sure whether this is good enough. So, we'll see. Okay. Um, we will cut this uh, maybe 10 inch in length. We'll see. Okay. Okay. As always, before we start, we have to straighten the edges first. I said this is a new roll, so it won't be straight coming from the factory. Okay, I always use clips. Para to hang on to it. Okay. burner make sure to wear a mask I am not wearing a mask right now um, heat up my breath but we really should okay so I will cut it 10 inch length 10 inch in length be back okay hey naman we're gonna cut the uh, canvas for the back of the fr uh, frame anyone that already had watched my videos knows about this so cut up lang natin sa frame so we can attach petals in the center of the uh, wreath so just cut it up. Okay, I attach natin yung uh, canvas. So let's proceed with the folding of the petal. Okay, I'll show you how to make the petal. Roll side down. Left hand, left hand top and right hand bottom of the um, rolled edge. Uh, I mean, rolled mesh. Find the middle. Find the middle and then gather. Flip closer together with the um, search edge on top, you know, the raw edge at the bottom. Gather, put them together, and then it goes in the wreath. Okay?
try to make it even okay and it's the second uh, ring this is where we're going to attach Just like that. Okay.
four six eight petals per section um, so I guess it will be eight petals for the next two sections and 24 petals for the first row okay I will be back I'll fill it out you guys don't think I need to watch it okay we're done with our first layer so total petals is uh, 24 24 petals uh, first uh, layer okay the next one would be um, now I'm just trying to decide whether okay now we're gonna start our second layer
Hold on, let me put that down. Face down, roll down, stretch it. Left hand pop, right hand at the bottom, stretch. Then find the middle, gather. Then bring them together with the uh, search edge on top. Okay, here's our uh, third petal, third layer. Okay, we're done. It's our third layer. Now the final layer would be, I'm thinking of uh, doing two petals in one bundle like this. So pull, left hand on top, right hand at the bottom, gather, together, Together, but with the raw edge under this and that. This. Zip it up, secure the petal.
done with the uh, petal section so the nine last section and uh, we're going to put uh, leaves sa back ng wreath okay uh, I'm not sure since I'm working on a five and a half inch uh, mesh so siguro I'll, I'll cut it the same way as the petal too maybe 10 inch It's the first time I'm uh, going to be working on a, a, you know, five or six inch uh, mesh. mesh. Okay, yeah, I'll cut it 10 inch. So I, can, I can't cut it, um, you know, a square, like maybe six inches long or five and a half inches. It's too small. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll cut it the same way as the leaves like sample. So, same. Same way, but it will be um, attached differently. So, bold. Pull the top part with your right, I, I mean with your left, and the bottom with your right hand. Then gather. Gather. I'm going to double it. And we're going to double it. So, again. This touch it. I always like the the sewed edge on top. Okay, like so. But we're going to attach it differently. Oh. Like that. Yeah, that's good. Maybe uh, should we do it all the way? Should actually put it where the bar is. that maybe maybe two more sets for each bar
Ok. Over. So it would look like this. Okay, well, we'll be back. I'm gonna cut up more, uh, more mesh, okay? Okay. Uh, so, leaves are attached. Finally, natapos na rin. Okay, here it is. And I also made the center. Sorry, I did not show it because my glue was broken. It's busted on glue ko. So I had to, you know, improvise. And I made a rose center. It's not perfect, but oh, this will do because I only have a, you know, a leftover and uh, I just made it sure that it will uh, fit this uh, wreath. Um, the glue is still wet, so let's. I'm just gonna wait for a few more minutes before I attach it. Just wanted to show you guys this one. Uh, finally, done. I can deliver it. You know, birthday gifts. Ito ng friend ko to her friend. So, <laughs> oh, my camera is so low. Alright, I'll take a picture of it later and I'll show you how this rose gets attached to the middle. Just have to wait until the glue dries out. Okay? Okay, now. Well, it's good enough. So, let's put it on. Alright, finally got it done. Uh-huh. Hindi ko na, um, I just covered the uh, back up with, um, it's a cardboard, and then I wrapped it with uh, white felt. So, um, I was not able to record it because uh, I forgot. So, um, attached the center. Yeah, you guys saw it. And now, I am just going to, actually, I'm deciding whether to add this bird. Uh, a bird. Maybe that. Or butterfly. So do you think bird or butterfly bird or one of these butterfly not sure yet what do you think much better to 
different color. Or orange. I'll see, I'll take a picture of it and see what I'm gonna decide on. I'm leaning towards the the bird, but we'll see. Okay, I'll post a picture. Bye.